little balls of DNA and, or RNA can be used either as probes to track disease, um, and there are now literally over 1,600 different versions of these probes that can be used to track genetic signatures of the disease, uh, or they can be used as therapeutic elements. Uh, they can be used as medicines to basically flip genetic switches to correct disease, to cause cancer cells to selectively die, to reverse the effects of diseases like psoriasis. That allowed us to create the equivalent of a materials gene chip, a chip that had an enormous number of materials positionally encoded on it so that we could begin to use it as a discovery tool to find new materials that completely changed industries. For clean energy industry, we could use it to find materials that could take uh, carbon dioxide, uh, uh, materials that are usually considered waste materials and, and problematic materials, and convert them into things that we can use or sell. Uh, methane, methanol, ethylene, propylene. I was actually skiing with my family uh, in Colorado uh, and uh, first my vice president of research called me and said you you won the King Faisal Prize because he had seen it on, on, on the web and I, I thought he was kidding me. I was very excited and, and obviously my family was very excited, so a lot of high-fiving. It's a really important prize and a prize that uh, is uh, given to some of the most accomplished uh, scientists on Earth and, and uh, it's just an incredible honor uh, to receive it.